On to the next stage of our project. Today we're going to start doing some fairway preps. We're going to start spraying out the areas where the fairways are. I've actually marked out and staked out where all the fairways are going to be, so I'll show you guys that in a minute. And we're going to get stuck into this winter. I'll tell you guys the order of process and how we're going to go about it. Yo mate, what up? Welcome to another lawn tip vid. So it's time to get onto this fairway. We've actually got two fairways on the property here, so I'll flick up an image on the screen and show you guys the design of these fairways and how they're going to look. So quite a large area all up. The huge fairway is about, it's just under 2,000 square meters, is that right? Just under 2,000, and then over the other side, it's 500 square meters. So as you can see, we've staked all the areas out, actually GPS staked them from that design itself. My mate Matt from in town um, has helped me do this. Thank you so much, Matt, for helping out. Um, looking at them in person when you actually see it, my goodness, they are huge. There's gonna be a huge, <laughs> huge area. So there's going to be two fairways as I mentioned. So the fairway here, the biggest one, we're actually going to be putting down some Tiff Tough Bermuda or some Cooch and on top of that we're going to do some Zoysia up the back as well which mate I'm really keen to try Zoysia out. I know it's not going to grow lots during this time of year but it's just going to be awesome to try that grass type out and show you guys how it runs in a climate like this and how I would maintain it personally. But two huge areas Really, really excited to have some cooch. We're gonna do some projects with that cooch in the future as well. We might do some sprigging or some chaff and laying it out and getting some other areas going. I'll show you guys how that process works once that is established. But we've got a lot of things to do before that turf goes down. So the golf green itself, as you can see in the background here, is done and dusted. But we need to start working along to make this whole area look nice. Because you can see right here, like it looks nasty. There is weeds galore. It looks absolutely filth. So we need to get the rest of the area looking pure and really, really nice. So there's going to be a couple of steps to doing this. First thing is obviously spraying out our areas and getting rid of all the existing grass there. Because there's a bit of kaikiu, there's a bit of cooch in there, there's a bit of paspalum, a bit of crabgrass, a bit of Patterson's Curse. Like there's just absolutely everything. So a non-selective herbicide some glyphosate we're going to use to knock those areas out. We may even put a little bit of fusillade in there as well because we're doing this on farm property it's going to be fine and we're just basically killing out what's there. We're going to do that in both areas. That's our first step. Now our second step will be a follow-up application again with some herbicide to really knock what's out here so that'll be in about two weeks time maybe three weeks just depending on the weather but then we need to start clearing this area out so there is lots and lots of rocks throughout this whole area. So as you can see, rocks galore, a little bit of poopy from the old rabbits there, but there's like a bit of a rock shelf that runs through here, so we're gonna have some fun with it. <laughs> we're gonna be pulling out a lot of rocks, um, not like super, super deep, just enough that we're like probably 200 mil of soil on top of them if we don't have to dig down too deep. But that's what we need to do. So we need to clear out all the rocks in here. Up the back side, there's probably no rocks at all, to be honest. It's just this area here. So after we pull all the rocks out, which by the way, I will actually start pulling rocks out probably next week. Um, I'll still be doing sprays in between. I'm not gonna wait till everything's dead for me to start pulling rocks out. I'm just gonna get a spray down today because we can and it's not windy at all. Even though it's a bit overcast, we'll be fine. So pull the rocks out, then we're gonna get the power rake on the skiddy and start to turn this whole area over. Now that power rake won't be used until we've actually got a really, really good kill on this whole area here. That's the way we're gonna go about it. Now, once that is done, the power rake, it's time to crack onto our irrigation. So the irrigation will be a fun process. I always love putting irrigation together. Gonna be pretty simple, but compared to the green, and we, didn't have to, we only have to run from up at those tanks there down to this area here. We're not running pipes from the bore. We're not doing heaps of other things. We might get another tank up next to those tanks there, just so we've got enough backup supply from the bore pumping into them. But luckily, because I've chosen warm season grasses, this area is not gonna need near as much water as the golf green. And I'll try to just go off rainwater more than anything and give this a bit of water every now and then <clears throat> when I need to, which is one of the reasons I chose Tiff Tough and a cooch grass is just because it's gonna be great in orange in summer. It just, you know, being resilient to hot weather and not need as much water. And then pretty simple from there on in, once irrigation is done, we're basically gonna just level the area out again with the power rake, get it really, really nice and level. And then mate, we'll be ready for turf, which I'm really excited about. So this is the sprayer we're using today. I've used this in the past, you guys have seen this if you've been following the channel for a while. TTI on deck sprayer, which works really well on the back of the gator. Massive boom on it. Um, I did calibrate this yesterday, so I had to change a few nozzles out, fix up a few leaks, because I haven't used it for so long. 
It's just what tends to happen, but it's all running and it's gonna do a really, really good job today. So these are the products we're gonna use today. Some glyphosate, which I've got some on my website in smaller sizes called Wipeout Bio, if you guys need to do something similar. Going to use some Fusilate as well. Now this is something, if you probably need a chemical license if you're gonna be using something like Fusilate. Um, but this is gonna be really good at getting our cooch and our kaiku in there and just give it a really, really hard knock. So that's why we're using Fusilate as well. And then on top of that, just a sticker, which is some wet out, which we're gonna to use to help it stick to the leaf and get a better kill. Always a great idea when using herbicides to use something like this, if it states on the label, to use a non-ionic surfactant. You always gotta make sure you got the proper PPE on when you're doing this kind of thing. Gloves, mask, glasses, boots, overalls as well. Always read the label, make sure you've got the proper protective equipment on otherwise. It's just naughty, you know? Just do the right thing. Now, I've calibrated this, so I'm putting out 100 litres of water um, at five bar which will pretty much get me over the whole area the one time. Um, and I'm going at about five kilometers per hour. Good thing is you can actually go on T-Jet's website and it will tell you all the calibrations you need for your nozzles. So these are O2s, these nozzles that I'm using, the yellow ones, and it's gonna tell you how much um, water you're gonna put out. Um, it does it per hectare. We just divide that by 100 if you wanna do it per 100 square meters with a knapsack or something. Um, really, really handy. Generally, when I'm doing applications with fertilizer and stuff, I like to use O4 nozzles, which are the red ones. Um, but these ones here are great for drift. Um, we're not gonna get any drift at all. Um, it's just calibrated for this sprayer. If I wanted to get some more water out with it, I would go with a bigger nozzle like an O4 instead of an O2. Anyway, let's mix this all up and let's spray it. Glad to have got that done. It's really, really good. The wind's just picked up too, so we've got it down at the perfect time. Like, bang on. Man, so that should start dying off in the next week. We'll probably see some yellow off next week, and then it will take a bit longer this time of year just because it's colder, and the night temps are getting down below zero degrees. That's just the way it is. But we'll see, we'll see that die off. Then we'll get into the rocks. We'll start ripping into it and getting things done to have turf laid in October is the goal. So that's why I want to get fairways done first. Tees. I'm not too stressed about it, but I want to make a start on them this season as well. But thank you guys so much for watching. Really, really appreciate it. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys very soon.